Plumfuse is an IVR development platform that makes it easy to build and manage IVR applications. With a drag and drop call flow editor and integrated data and analytics reporting, Fuse is simple to use and unlike anything else in the market. Let's take a tour of Fuse's call flow editor so you can start delivering great customer experiences with your IVR in no time. The menu bar. When you create a new application in Fuse, the first thing you see is the editor grid. This workspace is where you connect the many modules available in Fuse to create an IVR application. The application editor's menu bar includes a number of tools. The help icon opens a contextual tour of the editor. Cycle through the tour for a quick reminder of what everything is. The revision menu lets you quickly switch to an earlier version of your application. The page tab tells you what page in the application you're currently working in. Pages offer you a way to separate different sections of an application, making it easier to organize and manage. Click the purple plus button to add a new page or the gear icon in the tab to clone, rename, or delete a page. Adding a second page adds a page order icon to the left of the page tabs. Click the icon to reorder your pages. When you have more than four pages, this turns into a drop-down menu. The application name is in the middle of the menu bar. Click on the text to edit the application name. Click on the arrow next to the Save button for additional save options. The Audio Manager is where you can edit prompts, upload pre-recorded audio, and more. The gear icon opens a setting menu that lets you change a wide range of settings for your application. The call flow button takes you back to the main editor. When in the main editor, a modules menu displays next to the call flow icon. The whole idea behind Plumfuse is to give you tools and resources that are simple to use, but still have all the features and functionality that you need to deliver great customer experiences. To achieve this, Fuse uses pre-built modules to speed up the app development process. Plumfuse has three different types of modules, call flow, input, and data. The modules are color-coded green, orange, and blue respectively, so you can tell at a glance what type of module you're working with. Each group provides a different way to engage data. Call flow modules are the traffic cops of your voice application. They direct callers to the appropriate place based on the info they provide. Input modules let you collect data from callers. This includes things like letting callers select something from a menu, enter an account number, or provide any other data to complete a process. The data modules let you manipulate data that is already in a voice app. Some of these modules allow you to use JavaScript to customize the end user experience. You can make great applications without coding in Fuse, but users that do know JavaScript can use that too. Anatomy of a module. Fuse employs visual cues that make it easy for users to see how a module is being used. Many modules have a built-in text field for audio prompts. The text you write in these fields generates text-to-speech audio that users hear when calling your application. You can also edit prompts as well as upload pre-recorded audio to replace text-to-speech prompts in the audio manager. If you want callers to barge in, that is, to enter input before the prompt finishes, there's an option to enable that feature. When enabled, the top line of the text field box displays as a dashed line. Some modules have speech recognition enabled automatically, and for others, it's an option you can toggle on or off. A green microphone icon in the corner of the text field indicates whether speech recognition is enabled. In order to maintain security compliance, many modules can be set to private. This ensures that the information passing through the module is deleted after the call completes and not logged. When enabled, the module icon changes from its default color to gray. A gray plus sign in the text box simply indicates that you can insert a variable in that field. To learn more about the individual call flow, input, and data module, be sure to watch the Fuse Modules video. For access to the Fuse platform and its documentation, sign up for a free trial account today.